Exactly. Tygenics uh, business is based on what we call living medicines, which is using uh, living cells, uh, stem cells, to treat inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. So these uh, stem cells are allogeneic. That means that they are donor derived. So we take healthy individuals, we take either the fat uh, or small pieces of heart from those healthy donors and we use them to treat hundreds or thousands of patients with uh, different diseases. So out of our uh, two platforms, out of the uh, fat uh, derived uh, cells, our most advanced asset is uh, CX601. Uh, this is a product that is used for complex perianal fistula in Crohn's disease. This is a very common and severe complication of Crohn's. One in every 12 Crohn patients will suffer. So that translates into about 120,000 that suffer from this uh, disease if we combine Europe and the US. Those patients today do not have a satisfactory treatment and uh, the, the treatments, although they um, uh, relieve some of the symptoms, produce some uh, nasty long-term side effects and have very limited long-term efficacy. So those patients are really in need of a very simple therapy that will produce uh, continuous healing of those uh, fistulas. And we believe that a single injection of CX601, which is our advanced asset, will provide that relief to the patients. So uh, 601 has made uh, an incredible uh, advancement over the last 18 months. That started when we obtained uh, positive phase three data in, uh, at the end of the summer of 2015. And since then, really, we've been in a, uh, rolling out uh, all the plans. So we obtain the long-term data, so the one-year follow-up data, showing that the, uh, the durability of the efficacy of CX601, the data has been presented in the most relevant congresses for the uh, GI specialists, both in Europe and in the US. And we ended up with the uh, publication of the uh, phase three results in, uh, in The Lancet, which is one of the most reputable journals. After we got the results, we signed a very interesting partnership uh, deal with Takeda, which licensed all ex-US rights for this primary indication in exchange for a 25 million upfront, a 10 million euro investment, up to 355 million in uh, sales and regulatory milestones and double digit royalties. So a very rich deal for us and a great partner uh, for the success of CX601. Well, I think that Tagenix, being a, a very small uh, cap company in, in Europe, uh, was off the rather screen of a lot of the uh, tier one investors that we wanted to incorporate into our shareholder base. What they, I think that they were surprised was to see uh, such a low market cap for a company that was uh, so advanced in its pipeline. Having you know a phase three asset that has been filed for marketing approval with very positive data published in reputable journals and with a partner like Takeda that validates and uh, validates the technology and eliminates a lot of the commercial risk in Europe while, and this is very important, retaining the upside because we've kept the uh, US rights of the product is what I think that investors appreciated the most. Well, if you look at the uh, European market, it's difficult for a company our size that has such a specialized technology to find sufficient funds uh, to develop the company going forward. So we decided to uh, go to the US. There's a much larger investor base. There's many more specialized funds that have very deep pockets and that have this ability of investing early on in companies to help them develop into real world-class leaders in their space. That's what we want to do with Tagenix and we thought that that was the right thing to do for the company. Indeed, those are uh, very, very exciting times uh, for Tagenix. Not only we are, uh, we've just IPO successfully, not only we have you know, the money in the bank, uh, but we are about to get the first allogeneic stem cell product approved in Europe. That's the uh, CX601 that we've just mentioned. And on top of that, there's a lot of exciting uh, news that will come out of our pipeline. We have our cardiac program that will deliver phase two data a couple of months down the road. And we have just started our phase two in severe sepsis, which is a huge indication and, and an incredible unmet medical need and that we're trying to cover with 611. So exciting times ahead of us and we hope to be delivering on those milestones as we have been delivering in the last few years.